The third tutorial covers both arcs and bezier curves. The arcs mode allows you to create both circles and also an arc at the intersection of two lines. In both cases, touching the uh, perimeter allows you to actually manipulate the radius of the arc. Circles are unique in that you can actually have create a point on a circle. When you create a point on a circle, it actually also bisects that circle. So if you go into arcs mode and you grab that section, you can actually pull it out. You can also double tap to delete it as well. The point at which the uh, point is created on the circle is determined by the angle snap. To create concentric circles, all you do is go into arcs mode, grab a circle, drag it out, and then complete the circle. It should be noted to complete it, circles, the endpoints must reside at zero degrees. In lines mode, if you select a circle, it will automatically give you the fill properties. You can then select a color and update. You can create what simulates a, a um, center hole by selecting white, and that will give you that appearance. Bezier curves allow you to create smooth curves. A Bezier curve actually consists of multiple curve segments. To see those, go into lines mode, in which case you'll see the two endpoints and then the center handle, which allows you to manipulate it. To delete a Bezier curve segment, just go to lines mode and double tap on the center purple segment. To manipulate a Bezier curve, go into points mode. The way you manipulate the points will determine how the, the curve reacts. So for example, if you grab the center point of a Bezier curve, and by the way, there's, um, the Bezier curve is defined by two endpoints and associated control points. The endpoints are in blue, the control points are in red. If you grab a control point by touching it and dragging it, you'll notice that those control points move in tandem along with that Bezier curve. If you grab a control point, then its opposite control point will move in sequence, in harmony. If, on the other hand, you go in to create a selection area, then basically the points will move just based upon the selection area itself. So for example, you can turn all the points off, grab the center point, and then move it individually. Once we've done that, if we grab a, the center point, then the two control points will move in tandem. However, if you grab a control point, its corresponding control point will move to 180 degrees out. And that's all I have on Bezier Curves.